Sapiens presents 10 signs to spot a pseudo genius. Someone wishes to look smart, however it's not, you know, those individuals who make you question whether they in fact know what they're speaking about or if they're just a smart ass, certainly it's always a good concept to provide someone the benefit of the doubt before jumping to a conclusion. But how can you tell which category a person falls into? Well, there are certain hints that could drop some light on the matter. While a genuine intellectual is interested in pursuing a much deeper understanding of points, a pseudo-intellectual places their concentrate on attempting to show up clever. Right here are 10 indicators you're dealing with a pseudo-intellectual. Number 1. They use big words unnecessarily. To identify a pseudo-intellectual pay attention to their use language, you'll see that they desire you to be impressed whenever they talk. These individuals commonly make use of challenging words as a refined way to show just how smart they are. They likewise such as fixing other people's minor grammatical mistakes as well as mispronunciations, the smartass even has a set of intelligent sounding quotes as well as citations on hand and they use them to make their arguments more powerful as well as to show up even more educated. Number 2, they just know it all. The pseudo-intellectual constantly has something to state concerning everything, even if they weren't part of the conversation to start with, they appeared to have all the solutions. You'll recognize you're taking care of a smartass when they instantly end up being an expert in everything. One minute they may be a professional in medication as well as later a professional in economics and even a professional sports analyst during a sporting event, when you're having a discussion with someone about a topic, you do not recognize much about, they always win. However, the frequency with which the pseudo-intellectual mentions or brags about their qualifications is commonly sufficient to raise doubts about their credentials. Number 3, they're quick to have an opinion. The desire to be right drives a pseudo-intellectual to quickly form an opinion on any subject as well as they generally concern their own personal perspectives and point of views as absolute facts, even though there are always alternate perspectives and opinions readily available. As opposed to confessing that they don't know adequate regarding a subject to have an informed opinion, they create a point of view no matter and also defend it fiercely. Number 4, they are masters at posing questions. You can gauge a person's level of wiseness by the way they reply to concerns, someone that refuses to accept that they don't understand something or falls short to react straight while declaring complete control of the situation is not a genuine intellectual. In order to look remarkable, a pseudo-intellectual will certainly reply to a probing question with an abstract question or the last questions that can't be answered. Number 5, they are unable to see other points of view. Real intellectuals recognize that the best approach to coming to be a lot more experienced on a topic is to pay attention to what others need to say regarding it. Smart asses don't do this due to the fact that they don't wish to undermine their self-photo as somebody that currently understands everything, since they regard their personal views as absolute truths, they're incapable to see other perspectives throughout a conversation or debate. They're typically preoccupied with formulating a counter-response rather than listening to what the other side has to say. For this reason, arguing with such an individual is rather pointless. You'll just wind up going around in circles with no end in sight. Number 6. They hijack conversations. Pseudo-intellectuals are not just quick to form an opinion, but they are also ready to share it with the rest of the world, as opposed to listening as well as absorbing what other people are saying, they favor to hijack discussions, they coldly interrupt the person speaking to offer their very own ideas on the subject and leave little area for others to take part in the conversation. They do this any kind of chance they get regardless of the subject matter. Number 7. They seek to impress rather than inform. A pseudo-intellectual is normally more thinking about impressing you with their brilliance than actually informing you. You could be having an easygoing conversation only for them to disrupt it by transforming the subject and after that throwing in all of the interesting facts as well as details they understand about it. Even if it's improper, these people will take every opportunity to display their expertise. Number 8. They like to start arguments. 
Pseudo-intellectuals really feel the need to let everybody understand that they are right, even in the most insignificant communications and what better way to show their intellectual superiority than by discussing and also saying whether you're going over politics, religion, technology, or any other subject. The pseudo-intellectual is always eager to engage given that being right is more important to them than anything else. They like to provoke discussions, despite the fact that this creates tension and also typically ruins the ambience. Number 9, they're only interested in highbrow entertainment. Intelligent people like what they like, simple as that. They aren't attempting to excite others with their interests. However, bear in mind image is every little thing to the pseudo-intellectual as well as they merely don't have the strength of character to not care what other people think about their choices. Their self-confidence is tied to what other people consider them. So they commonly claim to take pleasure in classic books and extremely cultured points like opera, ballet, or theater. Number 10, they have no intellectual pursuits. Genuine intellectuals will normally place years of hard work right into their wise searches. They are absolutely passionate about their work and also they aspire to study and discover more about their favorite subjects. The smart ass, on the other hand, obtains delighted when they assume you presume they're intelligent, that's all that truly matters to them. There's a high probability that they're a pseudo-intellectual like it or not. You'll find yourself crossing paths with pseudo-geniuses as well as the most effective way to deal with them is to call them out. Currently there is a right method of tackling this, presuming you wish to lessen the person's frustrating behaviors while continuing to be friendly with them. When you call somebody out, it's far better to focus on their conduct as opposed to on that they are as an individual rather than calling them a smartass or pseudo-intellectual, point out what they're doing and also assure them that they do not need to imitate that because you like them, despite how intelligent they are, they'll have no choice yet to reduce their behavior a minimum of around you. After viewing this video, do you think you'll be able to spot a pseudo-intellectual? Have you ever before encounter one that you face them? Allow us know in the comments below. If you appreciated this video, offer it a thumbs up as well as share it with your close friends. Many thanks for viewing.